sama Mas Puri Salamat Sa Bencia, sa Espiritu at Katotohanan At muli Patuloy na makinig Ang kanyang mga salita At Masasabi po sa ating Masasay Blessed are they That hear The word of God Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for this afternoon that you have given us here safe and sound. Thank you, Father, for everything that you have done in the past week. Thank you, Lord, for the blessing, the guidance, and protection. Thank you for thy word, O God, so for ruling and giving us and comfort. Hope, protection, and even news. Amen. We need to teach you that we need to continue to communicate with you through the word. Help us, Lord, to meditate the word as we hear. And help us, Lord, not only to hear the word, but to do it. Lord, so I will continue on the answer of the Spirit. Sebab patuli manusia, patuli manusia ini, as we hear the word preached of God, may it change our perspective, may it change us, and we pray by your name, so I pray by your name. Selamat pagi non, selamat pagi lang, selamat pagi Yesus. So, tayo po ay magpapagtuloy sa ating pag-aaral sa aklat ng Duh. Isang babae na tinasin niya yung kanyang boss is dahil hindi niya makuntin. 
yung nararamdaman ng kanyang puso, magwawandag din naman tayo sa daan yung nakikinig sa salita ng Panginoon. Ay, was up. Nag- nag- uh, appreciate. No? At minsan, ay inu-post pa yung uh, pinagpapangaral ng ating Panginoon. So sa ating daw pong kapanahunan ngayon, ay kukunti yung Hosanna. Hosanna of today or few. No? At hindi po natin masisisi itong woman because we to, to commend that her no, na ibinuhos niya yung pong nararamdaman ng kanyang puso with love to honor our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> the wonder is not that she spoke as she did, but that men who hear the teaching of Jesus do not more often speak in His praise. <clears throat> uh, even yung kanyang mga enemy ng ating kung nasa Kristo, sinasabi nila, they had spoke, no one did spoke like this night. At ito pong ating pasahe ay sinundang po yung mga unang pangarap ng ating Panginoon dun sa verse 1 hanggang 26 ng chapter 11. Ang um, una po ay yung 1 to 11 ay nakita po natin doon kung paano itinuro ng Panginoon yung pattern of prayer ng ating napagkaralan. Prayer ay nagsisimula po sa Diyos and, and God. It will start with God and it ends with God. And then, doon po sa 14 to 26, doon po ang pagpapalayas ng demons doon sa isang inalihan. At pagkatapos ay nandun po yung patuloy niyang pagturo. At itong babae ay sa gitna ng kanyang pagturo ay in-interrupt niya yung sitwasyon at siya po ay sumigaw ng malakas na boses Blessed is the womb that bore you and pops, the pops which you are sap. This earnest woman did not mean in the first place to praise Christ's mother. Hindi daw natin alam kung namit na niya itong si Maria o di kaya naman ay sumagi sa kanyang isipan itong si Maria. Kung daw po sa is, no? if they want to insult a man, they stick vilely to his mother. And on the other hand, if they wish to follow him, it came to pass as he spoke these things was because he spoke so well that his woman could not withhold her words of praise. So, nakita niya o nakinggan niya yung pangusap ng ating Panginoon Kristo kung kaya hindi niya makontain yung kanyang nararamdaman at siya ay sumigaw ng malakas na boses. No? That blessed is the womb that bore him and the pops which you have sent. <clears throat> so, ang yung daw pong expression itong babae is commendable enough in itself. But, sabi po sa ating pasahe, no? Jesus said, yeah, she is blessed, doubtless, but still more blessed are that they hear the word of God and give it uh, marami ko pong sinasabi sa inyo uh, marami mga Christian ang gumagawa po dito they share the word of God and keep it hindi po nila sinishare pinatago lang but sa ating panawagan no, sa ating bawat masahe mensahe no, ito share the gospel gaya po ni Apostle Paul no because sabi ko nga nung nakaraan, when the gospel was preached, there is an enhancement 
of life. Yung mga uh, uh, heart no, ay babago. Yung hurt ay nahihil. Family, restore. At yung pong joy and peace comes in the lives of people. When the word preached Maraming Christian, they keep it because sila po ay Christian. Christian. Tinatago po nila. They are not exercising. They are not sharing the gospel. But they keep. So, hindi po tayo ko na. Our divine Savior, with all the love of his manhood toward his mother, acted toward her in such a way as forever to forbid a degree of religious worship being rendered to her. Kaya po sa ating pasaya makikita po natin doon. No? Yes, sabi niya, tunay siya ay uh, blessed, but rather no? more blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Yung pong pag-worship is due to Lord alone and if rendered to the most blessed among women it is idolatrous even kung kanino bang po The superstitious rob God of His glory and ensnare the soul of men at kapag po minorship natin yung nilikha kesa dun sa nilikha then it is an idolatry of idolatrous <clears throat> so to do this woman harder justice it was a great speech for her to make so napaka brave po nitong woman na to na nagsalita ng ganun no? pagkat kung makikita natin yung ating mga pasahe na nakaraan ito mga parisis no Sasabi ang ating Panginoon sa Kristo ay tinalayas niya yung demon dun sa kinas dun sa hinalian ay sa through Belzebub, no, yung prince of evil. At ito pong mga religious leader nito ay makapangyarihan at the authorities. No? So isa pong uh, katapangan yung pong ginawa nitong babae na sigaw ng kanyang naramdaman. So a, wo a woman, no, I deserve punya yung uh, pagpuri o comment dun sa kanyang ginawa. At dalangin po natin na tayo ay ganun din dun sa nagkaya nitong babae na to na ating ihayang isigaw no, yung ating naranasan sa ating Panginoong sa Kristo. Our Lord, when he was thus interrupted by this woman, her testimony did not reprove her speech, but he improved it. And he puts it up, he reproved it. So, but he improved it. He said, yes, yes. Before, he said, yes, yes. Rather, blessed are the that hear the word of God and keep it. No? He did a good of sin. No? Ang sabi niya sa babae, oh, oh, totoo, certain, yung sinabi niya. No? But there is a higher truth. She was blessed who bore me. But more sure, blessed still, are they that hear the word of God and keep it. No? Pansinin po natin yung kapakumbabangan na ating Panginoon dito sa kanyang sinabi He says not blessed are they that hear my word no, sinabi na, blessed that are they that hear my word pagamat no? totoo no, 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 na makala yung mga nakikinig ng kanyang salita no? but sinabi po niya 
blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. So, dito po sa ating pasahe, ay tatlong bagay po yung ating kukita. So, Ang wala po ay bless the blessedness which is not to be denied. Then, yung po a blessedness which is to be preferred. And that blessedness as one which is now to be enjoyed. A blessedness which is to not to be denied. A blessedness which is to be prepared. And a blessedness which is now to be enjoyed. A blessedness which is not to be denied. <clears throat> Tunay po na blessed yung si Virgin Mary. Noong pong sinabi ng ating mga Kristo ay ng ating Diyos doon sa aklat ng Genesis that they should come a seed. No? Na He will do yura kanya yung ulo nitong serpent. Ay marami po yung naghintay na hangal doon sa pagtaki nitong seed. <clears throat> At sa paghihintay po ngayon, sabi ng isang uh, manula, even itong daw si Mother Eve ay naghihintay doon sa seed. At galak na galak yung mga Israelita na Magkaroon ng mga anak. Nasa kailang magkakaroon ng mga anak. Ay yun na yung sin na hinihintay nila. But then, hindi po nila uh, na sumpungan. And when, when, uh, isang panahon ay dumating po yun sa, uh, at, sa, sa Birhen Maria. At uh, tunay, na siya ay blessed. Sa pagkakit ito ay pinagtatayan ni Angel Gabriel. No? Sa uh, first chapter 1 ng um, Luke at then itong si Elizabeth na siya ay blessed. She herself received his honor as a great, a great blessing. Yung pong kanyang pag-ubuntis sa ating Panginoon sa Kristo. But she humbled herself. No? She hum bowed humbly herself and said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to your word. Siya rin po ay nakulig doon sa salita ng Panginoon. At hindi lang niya pinakunggan, but she kept it. She believed the word of the Lord. Her spirit rejoiced in God her Savior. She treasured up all the holy words in her heart. Kung kaya po siya ay nagbili sa mapalat or blessed. She was, she must have been blessed among women. And this woman who spoke of her as such made no mistake. No, hindi po nagkamali yung nagsalita sa kanya na sasalita, mas mapala yung uh, sinapunan na nagdala sa ating Panginoon sa Kristo. <clears throat> what blessing had come to all the world through the virgin wondrous child. In him shall all the nation of the earth be blessed. If all generation call Mary blessed, it is only because she brought into the world one of is a blessing to all us. Yan po yung atin, Panginoon sa Kristo. And it was, it must have been a great blessedness to Mary's heart to think that the holy thing which was born of her was the channel of such blessedness to all mankind. Na hindi po natin may kakailatin na tunay na siya ay blessed. But, sabi po sa ating masaya, 
God blessed are that they who hear the word of God and keep it. Usually a special blessing involves special trials. The turn in the flesh from adding Apostle Paul attends the abundance of revelation. At si Maria, no, si Virgen Maria po, ay dumanas din naman na mga trials. Mm -hmm. Isa pa lang po ng kanyang paglilihi ay trials na. Paano ko bang sasabihin ito sa aking asawa? Ano ko nangis ka? Tapos, naka-engage pa lang sila ni Joseph. But even sa mga tao, nakakakilala. Kamla, no? Ano ba yung mga sasabihin nila sa kanya? It's a trial. At nang siya ay buntis na nahagol itong hero, yung mga ipapanganak na uh, batang lalaki. So, ay yung trials na sila ay magtago at uh, uh, umalis o lumayo doon sa paghagol itong si hero. It's a trials. But then sa kabila ng trials, a bless, a blessing. So, yung kanyang mananaw sa kanyang can call her blessed among women, but do not sigh because this unattainable blessedness is not ours. No? Huwag lang po tayong maingit o mag... Ah, ang patawag rin. Maingit na siya ay pinagpahal. No? Sapagkat sa ating ngayon, ang nangari nito, we are blessed. No? We are blessed that we are hearing the word of God. And not only hearing the word of God. Sabi po ng ating pasal. And with full and fast emphasis, we pronounce our blessedness this day, but the trace of envy rests in our heart. Huwag daw po natin ilagay yung ating envy sa ating mga puso. No, at narinig po natin yung sinabi ng babae, Blessed is the womb that bore, that bore you and pops you, pops which you have sucked, but it is overpowered by the divine utterance. Yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. We do not take away the first but we establish the second at yan po sabi ng second nating points of blessings to be prepared. So, pinagpala si Maria, parang sinabi ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo doon sa babae, oh, siya ay blessed, but you are blessed also if you hear the word of God and keep it. We are sure of this because your blessing that we prepared because your weight of this blessing no, ito po ay blessing na sinasabi ng natin ang Kristo doon sa beatitude no? at yung kung ating pa sa Kristo no, na nagsabi nitong blessing na ito ay alam po niya kung alin yung pinaka blessed yung mahigit higit na uh, blessing. He who began his ministry with the word bless so often repeated no best which blessing is the best. Alam po ng ating mga sa Kristo kung ano yung best blessing pagkat siya po ang nagsimula doon sa pangusa or use of a word of blessing. And we accept without question we even without argument ng yung pong statement ng ating Panginoon. We firmly believe upon His authority that the Mary is greatly blessed yet even more emphatically are those blessed who hear the word of God and keep it. <clears throat> Nalahanin po natin sa ibang banda no? yung pong uh, blessedness nitong si Mary 
for she was more blessed as the believers than as the mother of Jesus. Sabi po ni Elizabeth, blessed is that believes. So, Mary is blessed because he laid mainly this part that he believes and therefore quietly acquaints in the divine will. She was blessed because her faith enabled her to rejoice in God, her Savior. <clears throat> yes, yung pong kanyang pananampalataya make her blessed. Sino ba yung maniniwala nung sasasabihin niyo? na siya ay magbubuntis no? um, uh, sa pangunang mananisti but by faith no? naniwala po ito si Maria when the Savior author this next dito po sa ating pasay he meant to say to the woman who had pronounced this mother's bless sabi niya, ikaw rin ay mapalad. No? Ikaw rin ay mapalad kung ikaw ay lumidinig ng salita ng Panginoon at ginaganap niya. You good woman have said, blessed is my mother. To you I reply, no, blessed are you also. Blessed are you also na nandito po sa ating sanctuary if you hearing the word of God no, na, na nangungusap sa ating ngayon no, at tatanggapin natin sa ating mga puso at gagapin, gagalapin po natin um, at itatago na parang pressure sa ating mga puso this blessing is open to us all no, who by divine grace hear the gospel with our heart. Blessed are you if you lay up the witness of God in your heart, remembering it, reassuring it, and living upon it. You are truly favored if the word of God dwells in you with you. Christ in you, the hope of glory is your heart. By the grace of God, the most uneducated, the most sinful, the most despairing may still hear the word of God and keep it. Faith comes by hearing, sabi po dun sa Romans, and hearing by the word of God and by faith comes salvation. Kaya po mapalan yung bawat isa sa atin na natin ito. Higit na mapalan kaysa kay Maria because we are hearing now the word of God and in it. If we would attain to blessedness, hear God's word as God's word. Kung daw na is natin, natin yung blessedness. Hear God's word as God's word. Receive, receive it not as the word of man, or in that, in that way we can we cannot bless you, but accept it as being the word of God to our own soul. Hear it therefore with a reverent prudence, which does not we at it, nor question it, but which swiftly yields sa ating mga puso. You shall be blessed if you hear the word of God no? and if it. Marahe ang sasabihin daw po natin napakaparad ko dahil binigyan ako ng talento no? ng Diyos. But then, yung talento na ito ay gabitin natin doon sa uh, mga bagay ng bibigay kapurihan sa Panginoon. But still, sabi ng pasahe, Blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Kung yung daw pong uh, pakikinig ng salita ng Panginoon ay blessed, higit na blessed, 
kaysa doon sa kay Maria na nag buntis uh, sa ating Panginoon Kristo. So lahat ng bagay pala no? ay higit na blessed itong nakikilig ng salita ng Panginoon at ginaganap nila ito. Kung ikaw ay uh, napakaganda ng trabaho mo sa panahon na ito, ay ikaw ay pinagpahala. Yes, ikaw ay pinagpahala. But sa atin ang ating pasahe, blessed are those that will hear the word of God and keep it. Kung ito po ang um, sinasabi ng salita ng Panginoon, ay yung pakikinig ng kanyang salita ay mas higit na uh, pagpala or get the blessing. So lahat ng bagay na meron tayo, lahat ng bagay di sa mundo na sinasabi ng mundo na blessed is na over uh, red po nitong pasahe ng ating Panginoon. <clears throat> Bakit daw itong uh, blessing na ito is a very remarkable because it is spiritual. In the spiritual kingdom relationship, it is not blood or of birth. All external distinction of place, race, and descent are abolished. To hear the word of God, all right, is a spiritual act. To keep that word is a spiritual operation affecting the heart, the conscience, and the whole man, and hence it is lasting. <clears throat> yes, everlasting, and for this reason it stands high above everything else in the estimation of the Savior as a ground of blessedness. Ito po ay ang um, pinakamataas sa lahat ng bagay. Kaya siya ang naging ground ng ating Panas Kristo na to become a blessing. A blessing when we hear the word of God and keep it. If those who hear the word of God and keep it are more blessed than even was many who was the mother of our Lord than any other from a blessedness must be a secondary to the hearing of the word of God and give it. Mm -hmm. If you were a sick in the most poverty stricken attic in the city and if you had no gift and had even lost your sight yet if inwardly you hear the word of God and keep it, you will be blessed amidst all your poverty. Ano man yung pinagdadaanan natin sa buhay nito, ay mas higit na mapalad tayo kung ating dinigin ang salita ng Panginoon at ginaganap natin. <coughs> Somebody might say, blessed were the apostles for they cast out devils, devils and heal the sick. No? Did they not go back to the masters and say, even the devil are subject unto us through your name? Kapag gamat sila ay nakapagpalayas ng mga demonyo sa mga inahalihan, sila rin ay bumalik sa ating Panginoon sa Kristo at sinabi nila, nagawa namin nyo because sa iyong pangalan. Yes, he said, notwithstanding, with standing, we just rejoice not, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. These blessings arise above all others and shine with more heavenly region. So lahat ng bagay na sinasabi natin na blessed or blessings mas higit yung sinasabi ng ating usay that blessed is the one who hear the word of God and keep it. Iba po yung pakikinig at dun sa pagganap 
nung kanya ang narinig. Gaya ng sinasabi ng ating pasa, uh, scripture reading. Be a doer of the word, not a hearer. But madalas, marami sa ating mga Kristiyan ay tagapakinig lang. Hindi tayo nagaganap. So, hindi po sinabi, Blessed are those who hear the word of God and period. Kapit <laughs> stop na doon. Kapakikinig <laughs> na lang tayo. No, but sinabi po, Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Not to keep it na itago natin sa ating mga sarili, but ipamuhay natin, ibahagi natin, ihayag natin ang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa lahat ng mga na kaka sa lumuha natin, na kasama natin at yung mga nilalagay sa atin ng Diyos sa atin. Kaya nung ating pag-aaral doon sa, uh, sa gospel and personal evangelism, no? we always pray for the we always close our eyes for the opportunity no, to come na maglagay ang Panginoon ng mga opportunity that we can share the word of God but then hindi po natin binubuksan yung ating mga, ta- mga mata para makita natin yung mga bagay na ito. Pagkatas natin nalalangin, still our eyes are closed. No? Kaya hindi natin makita yung mga opportunity na nilalagay ng Panginoon upang ating may bahagi yung kanyang masalita. <clears throat> There is no form of blessedness which exceeds this of hearing the word of God and keep it. It seems a commonplace business, but it is not common in the sight of God. <clears throat> yung po, yung kaibahan. At alam ko sa atin, yung EGCGM ay puno na po ng pakikinig. Kailangan lang na natin talaga ay yung pagganap. We are theological sounds. Alas nga matapos na natin yung uh, Bible, yung box sa pag-aaral. Kung ilang, kung ilang box na lang yung ating hindi lang pasadahan. But uh, from Genesis, nagkalahati na tayo at ng Revelation. O na, nasimula na natin yung Revelation, tinapos natin yung Genesis. Marami yung mga books sa Old Testament, even sa New Testament, we always hear, hear, gather, collect. <laughs> no? Much, but how much yung ating sinasagawa yung ating inang buhay. Blessed is the one that hear the word of God and keep it. And ano po yung and keep it? So, ano man uh, mga pagpapa, uh, pagpapala o oh, blessed na sinasabi ng isang libutan, no, it's the still, blessed is the one who hear the word of God and keep it. At ang salita po nito ay nanggaling sa ating Panginoon sa Kristo. It is true. At ito po ay kapangyarihan. And then, sa ayo po sa sabali, a blessedness to be at once in joy. This blessedness belongs to the present. Blessed are they that hearing the word of God and keep it. It is not a remote but an immediate blessedness. <clears throat> but sasabihin po natin, I am cast down wala akong trabaho ngayon, hindi rin yun ang, ang agency kayo, hindi sa po. <laughs> no? Ah, ganito yung nararanasan ko sa kamo. <laughs> yes? But you are blessed. No? No? At sasabihin natin, no, ang daming affliction na aking binaranas, ang daming mga trials na aking pinagdadaanan. Yes? 
But you are blessed. Sabi po ng ating pasahe. <clears throat> but you are blessed. Your blessedness does not depend upon your fancies or feelings and feelings. If you hear the word of God today or now, you are blessed. At lalo na kapag ginaganap mo ito. You hear the word of God today, this afternoon. You are blessed because sabi ng ating Panginoon Kristo, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. You are at this moment blessed because at this moment you are hearing the word of God. Behold the angels, lords and king appears to you this afternoon is this blessed book and speak out of it with living, loving tone, saying, Blessed are you that hear the word of God and keep it. You are blessed. We are blessed. That's not the assurance of that make us happy. Hindi ba yung, yung kasiguraduhan na magbibigay sa atin ng saya? that we are blessed who are here, that hear the word of God and give it. Blessed is she that believes, <coughs> for this shall be a performance of the things that are spoken. Faith finds a present blessedness in the word of God, which she hears and give it. So ano po yung ating mga sitwasyon? sa oras na ito, ano man yung ating mga pinagdadaan. Still, we are blessed because we hear the Word of God. Not only hearing the Word of God, keep it. Hindi po yung itago natin. Pagkos, ipamuhay natin, ipamahagi natin, share natin, because sabi ko na, when they hear the word of God, you know, something will change. So Lord, maraming maraming salamat po. Truly, Lord, that we are blessed. Because we hear the word of God. The word is true. Panginoon, if we know the truth, the truth shall set us. Salamat po Lord sa pag-uusap sa amin po. Always remind us of God na hindi po namin kahingitan kung ano ba ang mga pagpapalak na dinaranas ng iba. Pagamat hindi na manayos niya para sa amin pag kus lagi namin nalahari ng God ang iyong mga salita. Siya ang sinabi mo Diyos that we are blessed because we feel you the word of God. I want to know what I'm going to do. sa salita ng ating Panginoon. So, matigil, mas higit pa pala tayong mapalad kaysa kay Maria. Because sabi ng ating Panginoon, yes, mapalad ka. But then, sabi niya, blessed are those who hear the word of God. And now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy, to the only God our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all times.